Welcome to Lanyap, a program about events, issues, and people. I'm Corey Crow. Joining us today on KEDM, Jay Davis and Jill Carr from Orbs. And uh, gang, thank you for being with us today. Tell me a little bit, uh, Jay, what is Orbs? Orbs is the Washita River Blue Society. <clears throat> it's our um, it's a blue society that's we just started a few months back in February. It, Louisiana only had one blue society down in New Orleans, and we needed representation up here in North Louisiana. And so, uh, brand new blue society. Jill uh, Carr with us, also a board member. Jill, tell me a little bit about the society. Why did you get involved with it? I got involved with it because I was um, I just moved back to Monroe from Houston, and um, I was a member of the Houston Blues Society, and I just wanted to get involved here to kind of help promote the blues and give Monroe a little something to be excited about. Well, it is something to be excited about. I think uh, folks may not know about the great musical heritage that we have here in northeast Louisiana and south Arkansas, and I think we've got the quality of musicians that are almost better than anywhere in the world coming out of uh, Jay right here in Monroe and West Monroe, North Louisiana, South Arkansas. Oh yeah, we've got uh, we've got a, a great lineup of people that are um, going to be competing uh, in the Blues Challenge Sunday this Sunday. Um, we've got four bands and we've got three solo duo acts that are going to be competing. Um, for the for our inaugural Blues Challenge. Well, tell me a little bit, uh, Jill. You've got um, different categories. Solo duo uh, is pretty self-explanatory, uh, and you've got uh, how many folks competing in that? And who are the who are the lineup for the solo duo artist? For solo duo, we have Honey Child, Joel Jordan, and Joey Anders. Um, for the band category, we have Jen Mobsters, the Josh Love Band, Journeyman Blues Band, and Swamp Boogie. So um, a full afternoon of music and, uh, and information uh, that uh, will be learning about blues and blues music, blues history, and listening to some great music, Jay. Oh, yeah. Uh, we've got, um, well, the, the, the competition is from 3 to 7 on Sunday, and uh, the Face Melters will be uh, kicking things off. That's the Dan Sumner's um, uh, group of young musicians he's put together, and they sound awesome. I, I heard them for the first time at the Blues Mixer we had at the Crew of Janice uh, Float Den a, few, a couple of weeks back. The, uh, the face melters uh, filling in the, the gaps there uh, as the bands get set up and uh, get ready to, to get after it that day. Um, Jill, I want to ask you a little bit. You're from the Monroe area and then took off to Houston and, and came back, but you tell me you got involved uh, in the Blues Society down in Houston. What made you want to jump into the Monroe Blues Society? Well, um you know, in Houston, I um, there was blues all around us, and I had some place to go whenever I wanted to hear live music, which was actually every weekend, <laughs> pretty much. Um, and then I came here and uh, knew a couple of people through Jay, and um, started talking about live entertainment. And um, I don't know, I just felt like getting involved to kind of. Um, have something to do around here and we had some great uh, musicians the uh, event coming up sunday jay is going to feature local artists now i know ultimately the the point of this thing is to send someone to the international blues challenge but hold up it's the first year for the local blues society you've got to be a blue society for a year before you can send somebody that's right we can't send anyone this year but we do have a great uh, a pa uh, prize package for the the winners of this competition and and that prize package includes uh, some studio time uh, which includes mixing and mastering of you know your your songs and uh, paid gigs that includes Washita Live and a gig at Enox both of those paid gigs uh, photography session and uh, assistance with uh, creating a pro uh, 
a press kit. The event uh, is coming up Sunday, and Jill, uh, what is the, the cost to get in? I understand there's a, a deal for, for some folks, and then if you're not a member, you, you've got to pay just a tad bit more. It's $10 for non-members, 5 for ORBS members, and the crew of Janus members, because we've partnered with the crew of Janus. And so um, ORBS membership uh, has its advantages, doesn't it, Jay? It does. It does. Uh, actually, uh, every third Thursday, uh, there's a blues jam at Enox uh, Pub, and with the mu- blues uh, membership, you get happy hour prices all night on those Thursdays. So that's one. And you get into the uh, the events for free or for a reduced uh, price. And you also uh, will uh, have a impact on lots of young folks. Uh, you guys are doing uh, some outreach and uh, going out and getting into the community, education about blues and uh, reaching out to young folks too, right, Jill? We do. We go out to the West Monroe Community Center. Um, so far, we've had Ira Barger and Kirby Rambin and Toby Trailer um, go out and work with the kids and teach them all about the blues and how to write songs, and um, they enjoy it. It's, well, that, it's fun. That sounds like a whole lot of fun. Um, we're talking about the blues challenge from the washita river blues society a uh, new group here that's uh, getting their first blues challenge underway hopefully uh, eventually sending someone to uh, memphis jay for folks to find out more about um, the washita river blues society and the events and things you guys have coming up where can they go they can go to orbs 318 that's o-r-b-s 318.com or the facebook page and, Jill, again, the times on Sunday for uh, folks to come out and enjoy the blues music. It's Sunday, July 16th from 3 to 7. You can find out more about this and other events by visiting our website, kedm.org. And uh, we also want to remind folks, KEDM's helping to sponsor the inaugural Blues Challenge. Find out more about that at our website, kedm.org.